Hello everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make an entire object show only using flip a clip. Please remember that this is just my opinion on how you should do things and you can do things however you like. This is just kind of a base guide and you can use other mobile animating apps besides flip a clip if you want. The first step is to get an idea of what your show is going to be. This can vary from a competition show to just making a story out of objects daily lives. You can do whatever you want with your show and it won't really matter. The next step is to make your characters. You should definitely not be copying anybody else's characters unless you make a different design and a different personality. And you should be making the assets with no faces or limbs first. What I like to do is make a new project and name it assets or something and then store all of my assets in the same project so I can grab one whenever I need it. Another thing you could do is make personalities for each of your characters since that would be really helpful for later. The next step is to make your backgrounds. I basically do the same thing as my assets. I just name the project backgrounds or something and then I just store all of my backgrounds in the same project. You could label them like scene 1, scene 2, stuff like that if you really want. The next step is to make your storyboard. First of all, you don't need to do a storyboard if you really don't want to, but it's a good thing to do because you can get a rough idea of what your episode is going to be. So yeah, a storyboard, you basically just draw like squares or something like a comic book basically and you you sketch out your characters and in scenes and you could like put text like what this character is doing what who the characters are it doesn't have to look good it's just like a rough idea of what you want the episode to look like and yeah you could put like speech bubbles of what they're gonna say yeah it's a good thing to do this but you don't have to if you really don't want to but i suggest that you should I put in the writing step after storyboarding because in a storyboard it's just a rough idea of what you're going to say but in writing it's going to be your final idea. One option is using the notes app to make your script. I mean it's kind of efficient because you can like name it but you can also do it in flip a clip if you want to. It's a little harder to do it in flip a clip but if you want to, you can. Also, make your characters talk like actual humans instead of just robots. It'll make the episode a lot better. The next step is voice acting. Now, if you're a bad voice actor, it's okay. Just make sure it doesn't sound absolutely terrible. The characters should obviously have different voices, and you can even get another voice actor if you want. Animating can definitely be tricky, but I'll try to simplify it. Basically, you just take your backgrounds, your assets, follow your storyboard and writing, and mash it all together. Your animation doesn't have to be like 24 FPS high quality, just do what you want to do. A good thing to do when you're animating in Flip a Clip is to make layers. And you should name them like assets, background, faces, and limbs so you can animate on the layers. You don't have to do it, but it is a good thing to do. The next step is making a thumbnail. Honestly, you can make the thumbnail look however you want, but it is a good thing to put like a number in the corner of your thumbnail just to show what episode it is but obviously you don't have to do this and that's the end of the video i hope this helped you guys out and if it did please consider liking this video 
And if you have any questions, just comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. See you guys in the next one.